YouTube Nation. Mayfit TV, aka me TV, aka Billy's best kept secret. And it seems like they still want to keep me secret. That's right. And I want to say this before I get started because I know you see the title of this video that says that I've been snubbed for the Philadelphia Geek Awards. Yes, I've been snubbed before I get on because I know I should take the high road. And I know you're going to say, event, you should take the high road on this one. Nah, that's not what you came for. All right? You came for the truth. You came to know how I feel. So that's what I'm going to tell you but before I get started on it. I want to say, fans, thank you for trying your hardest to get me nominated and put me on the ballot, try to get me put on the ballot for the Philadelphia Geek Awards. That, I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you because without you, I wouldn't still be doing this. You are the engine that drives this train. You are. It's that simple. So I want to thank you guys and girls because, like I said, we're going to move forward from this. But I'm going to get this off my chest. And I'm going to let this some skeletons out the closet today because I'm going to let you know what's going on. Philadelphia Geek Awards, let's get it started, man. Look, first off, I was snubbed off the ballot, you know, from, from being on the ballot, which is a joke. Because if you see so many of these people, and I've been talking to people all day about this, on the phone, people are like, how did you get snubbed? People are sitting here on Twitter saying, this is bullshit. Look, look, let's get something straight. There's a lot of politics involved with the Philadelphia Geek Awards, just like any other award show, Okay. If you don't kiss ass, if you don't shake hands or whatever, that's it. No one really believes in anymore that hard work should have its own reward. Nobody. Nobody. And I will put it like this. Because when I attended the Philadelphia Geek Awards last year, I had to hear, next year will be your year. Next year. Next year. Hey, people. Any of you that worked, how many times have you had to hear, well, maybe next year. Well, maybe next year. How many times you had to hear that? This is why the channel was bred the way it was from the start. Because I got tired when I was working with different companies and, you know, head managers and stuff, they would always take my fucking credit for the hard work that I did when they did nothing. I had to hear, maybe next year. You know, you have the talent, you have the tools, but you have to wait your time. You have to bide your time. It's not your time. Bullshit. If you have everything it fucking takes to make it in this world, it is your time. Don't let people tell you who half-ass everything or who haven't gone through half the shit you've gone through to tell you it's not your time. Don't ever hear that shit, but that's okay, because next year, yeah, next year, it's not going to be a next year, all right? I bust my ass this year to get to this ballot. Hell, the Devil May Cry videos alone, the series alone, should have put me on the ballot, but it didn't. Yet, we got to see doctors on the ballot, and this is weird, because this is what they do every year. They put a bunch of people, all right, because last year they had a bunch of famous people on the ballot, and guess what? They didn't win. You want to know why? Because they wasn't showing up. Their claim to fame last year was Stan Lee doing a 30-second video saying congratulations. That's what they had. And for everyone I talked to last year, it's going to be your time. You can do this. I bust my fucking ass. For what? For what? I want to know. This should have put me on. Now, before anybody says, well, event, you know, you sound real selfish right now. You're damn right I am. You're damn right. That's what you want, right? You want the real. You want the truth. Yes, I am. I'm pissed off right now due to the fact that I, this should have been a shoe-in. This should have been easy, especially seeing winners from last year. They had some fucking clown playing World of Warcraft won an award last year. They had viral videos that had nothing of importance, no type of educational value, no informational value, win awards last year. What the fuck have they done for you? Nothing. Yet, I can do game videos, I can do sports videos, I can go into the hood and make charities, I can tell and teach kids how to play basketball and keep them out of trouble and tell them stay away from fucking crime and drugs and you don't have to sell that way and you don't have to be that way for the rest of your life so you don't have to be a fucking statistic. But yet, this is the shit I'm dealing with right now. Now on top of the fact that I was supposed to do the charity for the fighting tournament and you know what trust I'm going to talk about it later, alright, I really am. All these things that I'm doing, not to mention the graffiti project I still got going on Instagram, which has now been picked up, and we'll see what happens, all right? The negotiation table has been picked up to be uh, published for a book. That's right. And last week, they, was it, they came to me as well to teach a course on photography and graffiti on site. That's right. Still in the talks of that. For everything I've fucking done here, man, are you going to sit here and tell me that I'm the one? That shouldn't be nominated? You, you fucking, you seriously, is that what you're telling me? Because when you don't put me on the ballot, it's a disrespect. It tells me I haven't done enough. So you'll tell me I have to keep bending and bending till I fucking break? Until I get some recognition? And you know, we just talked about this last week. You think I'd be used to it? I thought I was turning the corner on it, actually. But guess what? Still not enough. And it's not just about me being nominated. Understand, this would have opened the door for more YouTubers. 
That's right. Other people who do want to do informational stuff and do want to alert the masses stuff, this would have opened it up for them. Philadelphia Geek Awards, you fucked up. That simple. You should have known... You should have known the consequences of filling the ballot with bullshit filler. So that you think that people are going to show up. They didn't show up last year. What makes you think they're going to show up this year? And a lot of people I've talked to, man, I'm telling you, just, it's all politics involved. So fuck you. I don't need you. That's what it comes down to. We move forward from this. It's the same thing with the radio stations. The way I'm talking right now, you're saying, well, Vip, this is the reason why you're not on the radio. You know, you're not on the radio. That's why I feel. If people are actually saying that, then you obviously don't fucking know me. If you think I'm walking around Philadelphia or in, in meetings and talking like this, you're a fucking idiot. It's that simple. It's the same thing. You want to know really why I'm not on the radio? Do you really want to know why? I'll tell you why. Because when they come to you, and I'm going to let the skeleton out of the closet on this one, when they come to you and they tell you, Vin, you're too urban for the demographic. That's right. Too urban for the demographic. We can't put you on. So you know what that means, right? I'm too black, apparently, for certain demographics. Yet, I'm too articulate for the ignorant-ass hood. So you know what that means? I'm stuck in the, between the rock and the hard place. I'm stuck in the middle and I can't get nowhere. It's the same thing with the gaming uh, industry and the game. I played this, yes, because some of you fans sent me, uh, what was it, not too long, a couple months ago, sent me some uh, messages that black people were telling me they weren't listening to me because I'm not dark enough. Are you fucking serious? That's what this comes down to. I gotta be darker in order to get, so let me get straight. I got the racist calling me nigger and now I got my own kind telling me I'm not black enough. Are you serious? This is the petty shit that goes on here. This is, look, if you need an excuse to why you shouldn't hear the truth, then you're fucking yourself up. That has nothing to do with me. I'm not going to sit around and hold your fucking hand. I'm not going to sit around and kiss your ass just to try and get by. No, my work should speak for itself. It should speak volumes. But that's not what people want these days, right? That's, I just want to make that known. Especially when it comes down to the gaming industry or just gaming in general, all right? Because, like I said, I tried to get the charity going for the fighting tournament. And then when the nonprofits walked away, guess what? We had to hear that, you know, there's too much trolling going on. There's too much fighting going on within, the, you know, the community. We don't want anything to be part of it. So you just fucked up an opportunity because you wanted to be an immature little bitch. That's why. Oh, it's fun to troll. Yeah, well, you just fucked it up. But you're not thinking that, are you? No, you're just thinking, you know, I'm going to be immature. I just want to troll. Look, I'll put it like this. These are the cowards that I'm talking about that need to be taken away from this shit. And if anybody has a problem with what I'm saying right now, I'm telling you, I'm not going to sit here and text battle you. I don't have time for trolls and pedophiles. I don't. If you really have a problem with what I'm saying right now, you need to make time to come see me face to face. We will get a camera. I will get somebody to record that shit. So we put it on YouTube for a confrontation. Understand, I'm not playing around. And it seems like that old event needs to come back. That's what it comes back. Because that's what this channel prides itself off of. Not caring what people think. Because I really don't recall asking people what they think of me anyway. But that's all right. Because... This is what makes you happy, right? Some of you, I should say. You like to see people mad. You like to see raw emotions. Some of you even like to see people miserable because for your entertainment value. Some sick shit. But you don't think of it that way, right? Okay. See, this is what I'm talking about. And within all this that's going on, people, understand, I was snubbed today. And then later that day, once again, I was proven right. And for those who don't watch my sports videos, I had said for how many months that CEO Adam was going to be, you know, getting rid of the, the, the Sixers were going to get rid of his ass. And then when I did a video saying they're going to get rid of his ass, we had people coming in saying, oh, no, it's only a rumor. It's only a rumor. That's why Howard Esky came out with this news right today. But I'm still asleep. I don't know what I'm talking about, right? You've got to be kidding me. And yet all the people who said that I was wrong and how you shouldn't listen to me, where are they now? Where are they? I want to know. You know, I usually I just let them run away with the tail between the legs. But no, I want you to step up in a video apologizing. That's what I want from now on. Because if not, I'm going to start exposing a lot of you bitches on here. Seriously, I'm going to have to go back to what I used to do. Because I'm tired of seeing it.
There's no way you can keep skating by with all these views just because you show some tits or because, and we're going to talk, oh yeah, we're going to talk about that in the future, all right, yeah, and because you think that you're so great. Look, it's YouTube, but if you haven't done anything to help progress that, then you're nobody, you're nothing. That's what it comes down to. If you're only here for your own merit, then guess what? We don't need you. We don't need you. I can't tell you how many times I went to bet for gay and lesbians, for minorities, for, was it, the gaming industry in general when it comes to violence in video games. Now I'm dealing with the feminist stuff. You gotta be kidding. Every time I have done something, I have stepped up and I've helped people who really don't have a voice of their own. Have I not? But yet, still don't want to give me credit on that, huh? Because I'm, apparently I'm just some brash, egotistical asshole, right? Well, if that's the case, then you can call me what you want. I really don't give a shit. But the fact is, the videos speak for themselves. It's the proof, man. And it's funny because when I talk about this type of stuff, especially when it comes to gaming, we see more and more fucking idiots come out the woodwork and do things for their own personal merit. And if you think I'm bitching now about my own personal merit, there was one person, that's right, and I want to talk about this, alright? There was one person from the fighting game community who's the top player who was sponsored, that's right, sponsored to play in these games. Guess what? He can't make it to Evo. So what does he do? He begs fans for money so that he can get the fucking Evo. And I'll put the link in the info bar because I put like this, okay? He actually made gold. That's right, he made gold, so they're gonna send him the Evo. Look, if you have a problem getting the Evo, all right, and you are sponsored, you need to take that up with your sponsor. And you're gonna tell me that you're gonna sit here, as old as you are, you can't make the trip on your own? Seriously, something's gotta give here. You are living a lifestyle that you can't afford. It's that simple. And yet you're gonna beg, you know what? Maybe I should start begging people for some money on here. How about that? All right, uh, so let's, let's get something straight here. They can donate money to a guy who wants to go to Evo on his own so that he can fucking play in a tournament so that for his own merit so he can try to win. But we can't get people to do this charity thing for an overall tournament and expand things to help people who need it? Are we serious? Is this is what we're doing today? This is bullshit. It's priorities like that that pisses me off. You've got to be kidding me. And I want to talk about this a little bit more about tournaments, about expanding tournaments, all right? It doesn't have to be just fighting tournaments. People think that fighting tournaments is that, that's it. No, it doesn't have to be that way. Understand that we can make this bigger. And I want to talk about this a little bit because I talked about it on the sports show a little bit. And I want to show this graphic again because there's a good idea within this. And we want to, I want to talk about the U.S. Open. That's right. Because for those who don't know, in independent, uh, was it? At Independence Hall back, uh, was it, at 5th, 5th and 6th in Market, they actually had a large screen TV. It was like five people watching the U.S. Open here when it came to being outside. And I'll show you the graphic right now for that. So now the question begs, why can't we have these type of things for gaming tournaments? If you can do it for some damn golf. Are you serious that we can't get enough sponsors to do something like that outside? And before anyone cries about, but, but the screen glare, no, you should be appreciative that something like that would go on outside. As of late, we have seen game tournaments held in stadiums, something I would never thought I'd ever see in my life. And yet, all people could do is bitch about screen glare instead of taking in the experience of where you're at. Pathetic. Spoiled. That's what it is. But yet, these are the people that are praised and the fan base is running, oh, you're absolutely right, blah, blah, blah. I don't give a damn about screen glare. You should be happy that you had the opportunity to say, hey, I was there. That's the problem today. But yet, I apparently, I'm just wrong. I'm just this big fucking super villain. You know what? I'll be that then. For telling it how it is, I'll be that. It's sad that Every time I see so many things in this world, that there's so many bad things that happen, so many misguided people, I still think that there's some good left in them. And as of late, I'm starting to not believe that myself. It's sad to see. And it doesn't take much at this point. You gotta think, at least I've been doing this for a short amount of time, a couple of years, where you got guys that have been here for five, six, seven, ten years, all right? And all they can talk about is how they the man, how they got these internet armies. Get the fuck out of here with that fake shit. Seriously. If that's your claim to fame, then you're doing it wrong. 
If you're here just to be on green screen and talk and think that you're going to entertain people, you're doing it wrong. If you think you're a comedian and think that your jokes are going to land, you're doing it wrong. Take your ass outside to a comedy club and see if you know if you can really, you know, if you'll sink or swim. But it seems like nobody wants to do that. Everyone wants to stay in the realm of their own place and think that as long as they got a couple people. That's right. I saw one YouTuber who was who was happy, who thought he was the shit because he had 300 subscribers. Fuck out of here. It tells me that as far as I'm concerned, you don't have any type of adoration, love, respect in your own household or outside in the real world. Your neighborhood doesn't give a damn about you. This is what happens. But they think they're the man because of it. And if you say anything different, then you must be sensitive. No. Think about the repercussions before you even go into that. But it seems like nobody wants to. And I'm wrong as usual, right? Right? I mean, that's what it comes down to. <laughs> man, I swear. This is just the start of my fucking day. I shouldn't say the start because this is we're doing this for an afternoon now. So it's not the start, but because I've been out so long. Oh, my God, man. It, you know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't. I'm hoping by this week I will have out more videos. I have a lot of personal things going on, not work related, just very personal things that may disrupt what I'm doing. All right, and it needs to be taken care of. So don't mind me as I'm really, really pissed off. But it's time for the old event to come back. And it's time to start showing a lot of people what I'm talking about. Like I said, I didn't even, even mention the documentary I was doing, which I have canceled because of the fact that I can't sit here and talk to the police commissioner without a bunch of bullshit and red tape, all right, or any other cop on the street. And we were supposed to have cops versus, what is it, versus the community in basketball and sports so that the community can get to know the cops in their neighborhood so they wouldn't be suspected or they wouldn't be profiled. But instead, what do we get? We get a bunch of cops around here punching women in the face at the Puerto Rican Day Parade. See, this is the shit I'm talking about here. But you know what? The, end, the, the footage that I do have from those documentaries, because you know, copyright issues and all, I will be putting them in a hybrid of my sports videos. Because technically that's what it was supposed to be about anyway. So it's all related. But this is what I gotta deal with. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean about, about Philadelphia and just how, just how much trash, how much of a cesspool it is when it could be better. It could be. But it seems like nobody wants to make that change. So as far as I'm concerned right now, fuck Philadelphia. All right? That's how I feel right now. Especially for everything that just happened. You want credibility? Then you start putting out credible shit. You just don't get it handed to you. That's, that's not how it works. But apparently these days, that's what everyone wants to do, right? They want all the accolades and everything without doing anything. And they also want all the praise without all the criticism. And if you criticize someone, then you're just a hater. It's bullshit. You can't have a legit reason without someone calling you a fucking hater these days. Get a fucking new word. Fucking clowns. You know what? I'm done. Fuck this, man.